seven five win, six days off. Tees kept coming back. Uh, is there a little bit of a letdown after having six days off after each, each goal? Okay, so I would say the the. There wasn't a letdown after having six days off. I think the guys were really flying to begin the game, which is why we got the two goals right away. So I think they were really ready to play. But I would say the letdown happened after the two goals were scored. So yes, there was a bit of a letdown, but for different reasons. It wasn't the six days off. It was the quick two goals that we scored, which it's pretty common. It's a pretty common thing in hockey. Score, score right away. And it's human nature subconsciously to just take a breath. And you have to fight so hard against that to make sure in your mind you understand really it's 0-0. You have to go reset and get the first goal, not the next one necessarily, but the first one in the game. And we didn't really have that mindset. Spokane pushed back as we knew they would. Great team, very well coached. They clawed right back in and then it became a game back and forth for the rest of it. For every time you guys they pushed back, you kept getting a two-goal lead. And I mean, you tell me about like this was apparently tied the fastest goal in the Royals history with, uh, uh, with Pfizer. I mean, oh, is that right? I didn't yeah. know that. Okay. Yeah. S says Marlon Martin is the yeah. uh, announcer. Okay, yeah. So that's good. You know, you want to strike early, of course, you kind of get the first punch in. That's important. Um, but then following it up, the second goal is great, but following it up again, being good defensively, having good fundamentals, that's all really important. The second you get loose in this league, especially against a really powerful offensive team like Spokane, they're going to create scoring chances and potentially goals. So we've got to be much better in our response after we score and just defensively overall. But Riley Woods had a really solid night and two goals from essentially the same spot. Yeah. What are you going to do to contain him tomorrow night because they're going to come back hard? Absolutely, yeah. He's a great player. He, he does a good job finding time and space. He's got a great release. He gets it off quickly. We need to do a better job of taking away that time and space and closing fast so that hopefully we can you know disrupt the release before he can get it off. We talked about after 15 games uh, tonight, it looked like uh, Weiser and Schultz line had some chemistry going. We talked about that. Yeah, that's right. So Sean Galka centered that line, and he had played for Spokane previously, uh, as you may know. So that was great for him, for that line to do very well together, for Sean to get that win against his former teammates, and he played great. And you're right, for Schultz and Fives to find a little, a little bit of chemistry with Sean, and uh, I thought their forecheck was strong. I thought they had a lot of scoring chances. They played a ton of minutes, uh, so really happy for all three of those guys. Hanoon had a solid night, not to mention that great backhand goal, yeah. but he also drew a great penalty uh, against Larson where he just kind of went over. How important is that to have the older guys to uh, show up like that? Really good observation. It was uh, the power play was great that he drew. It was the way he drew it. So instead of trying to you know make a fancy move in the blue line and beat that player, which would be a low percentage play, even though he's really good and you know he can beat guys one on one. The high percentage play there is you just put the puck into an area, you skate to get it, and you try to make that other that defenseman interfere with you. He did that. Put it to an area, skated to go get it. Fortunately, the D interfered and went on the power play. So it was the way he did it that was really impressive. And that Austin awesome Cutler and that little toe drag, tell me what you thought about that when you saw it go away. Yeah, uh, at the end there, when Cutler came in on the left wing. Yep. Yeah, so the, the pass from Nooner, what's interesting about that is that exact rep that Cutler had when he scores, when we do some of our drills, uh, our assistant coaches apply what's called coach pressure, and they give Cutler that exact type of pressure on the edge, force him to go around and make a play on our goalies. So what's really cool about that is, uh, you know, the assistant coaches get a bit of an assist on that, but it's Cutler applying what he works on in practice every day to a game. So, Scotty Walford, Scores a goal and he had a really solid night with uh, Team WHL. What do you think his chances are for uh, making Team Canada and playing in Vancouver in Victoria? I, I can't have handicap his chances because I'm not on the staff office. What I can tell you is this any coach would love to have him. I would love to have him on any team that I coach, and uh, he would be a great asset if they do decide to take him. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Okay, thank, thank you very you. much. Jason, what can you tell us about that quick start you guys had tonight? Uh, Pretty nice play there. Obviously, uh, kind of a set play we had uh, going into this, so uh, it's good to capitalize on that. It's definitely the coaches. Two goals and two shots. How often do you say your team does that? <laughs> Not too often. That was pretty quick. It's good to get a good start with that. Talk about the uh, apparent letdown um, after uh, a couple goals, and then it came back uh, almost every time with a goal shortly after. So, is that something to do with uh, six days off? No, I don't think it has anything to do with that. I think it was just they got a pretty strong offense on that team, and uh, we kind of we didn't break down, but our fundamentals were a little weak at times, and I think that's what brought it back into it a little bit. 
with the ball and always throw it back the other. Hey, so uh, tomorrow is uh, on the uh, Remembrance Day game. Is there anyone in your family that you are remembering, or is there any like kind of his family history that people have served? Yeah, my great grandpa uh, was in the war a couple, couple years ago, and uh, it was a great day for me. Where did he serve? Uh, you know, I got so, I mean, Riley Woods had a really strong game tonight. Two goals in the same spot. These guys are going to be coming back tomorrow like you guys are. What are you going to do to stop that? Yeah, I think they're going to have a little chip on their shoulder after a night, a pretty high scoring game. So, that's, that's definitely going to be competitive tomorrow. But uh, I think if we just improve those fundamentals we had that we had most of the time tonight, I think we're fine. You're, you're gathering a nickname, DJ James. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> I don't know, it's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, it's going good right now, so it's a good one. <laughs> Coming up with the second goal, the second shot of the game, and you guys came up so strong tonight. Like, I know we already talked about this, but like, what do you have to do to shut these guys down tomorrow? Do you think they're going to come out as strong as you guys want? Yeah, we came out strong. We had a good practice week. We had a full practice week. Uh, you know, obviously we worked on everything in practice, and uh, I think that really put it into our game tonight. And it's going to lead in tomorrow. So I think we're get it. Scotty Walford got a goal tonight, and he also played for uh, WHL against Russia. What do you think his chances are for making Team Canada? They're going to be playing some games in this building. You know, he's a great player, great guy too. Uh, very well put together, and I think he has a pretty good chance. Riley Woods, solid night, scored two goals against you guys from a second the same spot. What are you going to do to shut him down tonight? Uh, it was kind of a couple of letdowns on our part. That puck bouncing, and uh, you know, it just, it just comes down to being better in our defense. So I think we got it. You know what, man? My apologies that I didn't know who you were at first. All good. Um, thank All you, good guys. Thank you for coming back out. All right. So, you're good. so first few games under your belt with the team, playing for Canada. How up were you for this game today? Uh, yeah, obviously I was really excited about this game and a uh, good group of guys over there, good staff and uh, got nothing but good things to say about them and I'm happy to say we came up on top and yeah, it feels good. Demonstrate a little bit of uh, chemistry there with uh, Schultz and Pfizer. Uh Yeah, we've been playing together for a little bit now in practice, you know, we've been talking about plays and stuff and obviously we got a quick goal there off the, off the start, that was nice to get. And, Three goals, you know, it's nice to be out there. It's great guys to play with them. And, yeah, a lot of fun. So, did you formally play with the uh, Northeast Chiefs with Dallas? Uh, no, I wasn't there with Dallas. Okay. Was, but you're you're formally with the was, Northeast Chiefs, eh? Yeah, I was for my first major bit. So. All right, and how are you finding the move up to uh, the <laughs> for uh, uh, Yeah, obviously it's a higher league, so a lot of bigger players, a lot of faster players to play against, and. Uh, just gotta adapt to it. And, uh, yeah, I think you know, just take it day by day, step by step, and get to it. So, being as I remember, it's day is coming on Sunday, and we've got the, uh, the uh, honoring the uh, courses. Do you have any family members that you are going to be remembering, or any that's uh, Sadly, I do not. Maybe my great grandfather or something like that, but not that I know of. You know. So, after a big game like tonight, uh, Chiefs are going to be coming back at you guys hard tomorrow. What are you going to do to contain them? Uh, yeah, we're just going to play how we played our first period today. We got off the gas a little bit, but uh, we just got to come out hard, come out play hard, get our, play our game, play real hockey, and I think tomorrow we'll be able to come out and talk again. Thank you. Thank you very much.